All right, well, welcome back from my failed attempt at trying to get my Hornet to blow up when hitting an asteroid. But, okay, I'm going to, uh, this is probably my only opportunity to go over some of these ships because I am not going to have all of these ships in my hangar at any time. So, uh, having the opportunity to kind of walk around and play with each of these ships um, is, is, is awesome. So, uh, what I want to do is I want to do a, a, like a, a one video review of each of the ships and uh, just quick overview of it nothing nothing super in detail just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like and uh, how to play around with it and in this one we're gonna be talking about the Avenger okay the Avenger now in my opinion okay now remember, understand this is my opinion and there's a lot of people out there that really like this uh, design of a ship I don't like it uh, it looks too like it's too much of an arch, okay? There's too much of an arch going on right there. Um, the If there was a little bit less of an arch, like if there was uh, a flatness underneath the ship, like from there to there under the ship, I would think that this would be an awesome design. But I don't like that big, op that, uh, that, it just just doesn't look geometrical. Like I don't even know what, if it, what that is down underneath there. Okay, am I supposed to be able to crouch? Wait a minute, what's going on? Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's like what is this thing right here, and why can't that be covered by something that goes from straight to there to straight to there? You know, it's just. I just don't, just don't like it. I'm sorry. It's just true. Um, I, the rest of it, I love. I like the fact that you know, I like the uh, the winglets. I like the, the the way the wings are positioned. Um, I like the way the uh, upper wings are and how it's kind of like a kind of like a double sided kind of thing. Um, I do like the fact that it's like a double se a two seater where you can have somebody accompany you like a prisoner or you like your uh, your gunner or something like that while you're flying. Um, I, th I do love all of those things. I like the way that where the uh, intakes are above the wings, um, the little lights that go along the edge of the wings. I think that's pretty cool. And then the red, you know, and then I like the way the engine looks in the back. Uh, but Okay, having said that, I don't like these wheels underneath, you know, um, they're, they're too narrow, they're too close together, right, uh, it just, uh, the wheels are too small to support the weight of this vehicle, uh, it just doesn't, uh, the rest of it, the, that part of it, I don't like, the front wheel, sure, I, that's okay, you know, that's awesome, and it looks great, I mean, don't get me wrong, graphic wise, this, 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 uh, Everything so far in Star Citizen's graphics is super awesome, and they're way before pre-alpha. So it's like, I mean, they're still in production, and it still looks still looks awesome already. Now this Avenger um, hatch underneath here, it looks awesome, and it works. Everything's good. You go inside, you got, you always have these extra little pipes hanging around. Um, why? Why can't these pipes be like right here against the wall? Very easily, you could you could coil them up and have them right there, or you could. I know they're trying to give some kind of personality or some character to the ship, but if it's the same in every ship, then it's not character, if that makes sense. Um, but like, they should be coiled up unless in use. You know, um, it just I just don't like them. They would flap around during a dogfight or something like that. And if you had uh, prisoners back here or if you had cargo back here, then those are going to damage that. And maybe when you add cargo, maybe those things attach to them to give them life support. Or maybe they um, attach to, maybe they get coiled up when you get boxes back here. I don't know. Okay, so let's get out of here. I do like the fact that it does have like a, a large, a very large storage compartment uh, for your fighter. This is more of a fighter, a fighter with a storage compartment. That's kind of like a, I'd call it more of a bounty hunter type ship. I understand it's for the police. Uh, it is a police cruiser and it looks like that's extra fuel, right? A drop tank for extra fuel. Uh, so you can make those extra jumps. That gun, it can be upgraded. You know, of course you're going to want to do that. Um, yeah. It's got uh, it's got one large like uh, 
nose turret, uh, ball turret up front. Uh, you know, that's that's really good. I'm sure that goes up and down, left and right. Okay, well, it looks like it definitely goes up and down. It's hard to tell if it'll go left and right. You would think it would, right? Okay, maybe it spins around on that circle inside there, right there. Okay, that's cool. So that ball can go up, and then inside that ball, it can go left and right. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, so it'll have like a cone of area that it can fire on. Um, and how come it doesn't have its own ladder that goes up into the cockpit? Why do you have to have this gantry? But um, I, I, I like the fact that there is a gantry, because then that means we can use that on the rest of our ships to be able to get up and do maintenance on engines like the Constellation or the Freelancer. Okay, great. All right, um, and that was it. That was my review of the Avenger. And I'll see you guys in the verse.